Can you think of an experience where the Bible made a real impact in your life? Not really, not, not right now. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, the time that the Bible made a real impact in my life was when I was about 21. I was working at Burger King and we got robbed. And uh, I remember the guys said they had guns and I was, I was standing, it was me and someone else and I was standing by the door and I was about to just book it out of there. And I remembered the verse that says we have not been given a spirit of fear. Because of that, I chose rather than to leave my coworker to stay. And it turned out the guys had nothing on them. God came through. The experience happens like every day. It's not like just one moment. My connection to the Bible has led me more and deeper with my relationship with God. So it's been like my pathway. It's when I had to forgive someone who knowingly did me wrong. Because then I was, uh, I had that anger uh, and hurt for several months until I reread the story of Joseph when he says to his brothers that you meant it for evil, but God turned it into good. And uh, I reflected on that and my experience, even though it was bad, it still allowed me to help others who were in a similar situation. Had I not gone through it, I wouldn't have recognized where they are. In Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I realize that I'm not of my own. Um, and that it's really Christ who lives through me that gives me the strength I need to get through every day. For me, there was a moment um, last year, 2015 on my birthday. Instead of celebrating my birthday, I was in the hospital. I was admitted. I was not feeling well. But I just felt like God was there for me. That's when I got my other favorite verse. Uh, Jeremiah 33 verse 3 which says call unto me and you see the many things I'll do for you. The doctors didn't know what was happening but I just prayed to God and after that I started feeling better. So that was a huge impact to my life. A lot of people ask me like you know you know why do you believe in God and all these things and one of the reasons is my understanding of him and the only way I could do that is from reading the word and that's how I guess I was able to understand it. Every day studying as a student um, you really need faith, you really need uh, something to look into. Some of the verses, are they're so comforting and I need that. It makes an impact. Especially when like exams and papers coming up. I always come for myself is the Matthew chapter 5 -ish. Like, so do not worry for tomorrow. For tomorrow you'll have the trouble of yourself. When this trouble is enough for one day, so you just focus on the present tax, ta task, task. There's been times when I've just felt really down and out and, um, and he reminded me that I don't need to worry and that he's always there for me no matter what. And um, if I like literally run away to the waters or go out for a walk and, uh, in the park, sometimes it just brings me back and realize that he created all this for me to marvel over. The older I get, the more I'm beginning to understand and the more stories I read, I'm like, I'm like, oh my goodness, like, why did I read this book a long time ago? Like, all the questions I have is like, hey, they're right there, they're in the Bible, and God was so smart about the way that he, that he laid it out for us, and I wish I had known that a long time ago, <laughs> and that would have saved me from a lot of the troubles I put myself into before. Quelquefois, oui, la Bible est difficile, mais pour moi, c'est pas quelque chose, c'est pas un processus que l'on fait sans la prière sans demander à Dieu de l'aide pour mieux comprendre. On peut lire la Bible comme ça et comprendre les on, on, on comprend les mots que l'on lit, mais le message qui est en arrière de cela, c'est à travers le cet esprit qui te guide. I think the descriptions of the stories are would would make so much more sense if you knew the culture and the context. To me, I don't understand all of the things or all all the reasoning or the logic or what it would have meant to the people at the time. That's my biggest struggle. Other than the prophecies, prophecies are another thing. On essaye de l'étudier. Et c'est un processus alors. Tu n'arrives pas à un certain âge ou tu n'arrives pas à un certain endroit où tu dis, bon, j'ai lu la Bible, je la comprends au total, je suis professionnel dans les questions de la Bible. Non, c'est un processus et ça peut durer toute une vie.